we have completed the theory part of the chapter sinusoidal steady state and uh, now we are going to take few questions based on the topics which we have discussed till now and in this presentation we are going to take our question number one and according to this question we are having this circuit in which the input voltage vt is equal to sine 2t and uh, we need to find out the resulting current it which is this current when the resistance is equal to 1 over 3 ohm inductance is equal to 1 over 4 henry and the capacitance is equal to 3 farads four options are given in the question and we are required to choose one correct option so now we will move on to the solution in which we will understand how we can calculate current it the step number one is to have this circuit in the frequency domain and uh, we know in place of vt we will have v phasor and v phasor corresponding to the maximum value is equal to vm angle theta v from here we can see that vm is equal to 1 and theta v is equal to 0 so in this way we have the phasor voltage equal to 1 angle 0 degrees in volts now moving on to this current it we will have the phasor of this current i phasor and this is something we are required to find out and uh, we know that resistance will remain as it is in the frequency domain in place of l we will have j xl in place of c we will have negative of j xc now talking about j xl we know it is equal to j omega l omega the angular frequency it is equal to 2 and l it is equal to 1 by 4 so j xl it is equal to j over 2 so here we will have j over 2 ohms now moving on to negative of jxc negative of jxc it is equal to negative of j over omega c omega is 2 and c is 3 so we have negative of j over 6 so here we will have negative of j over 6 ohms now let's say that the phasor current in this branch is I R phasor the phasor current in this branch is I L phasor and the phasor current in this branch is I C phasor so in this way we have our circuit in frequency domain and we can safely say that I phasor is equal to I R phasor plus I L phasor plus I C phasor and I phasor we are required to find out and in place of I R phasor we can have V phasor divided by the resistance which is 1 over 3 in place of IL phasor we can have V phasor divided by J by 2 and in place of IC phasor we will have V phasor divided by negative of J over 6 now I will take out V phasor common and we will have I phasor equal to V phasor inside the bracket we will have 1 over 1 over 3 plus 1 over j over 2 plus 1 over negative of j over 6 we know v phasor it is equal to one angle zero degrees so we have i phasor equal to one angle zero degrees and when you simplify this you will have 3 plus j 4 and when you convert this to the polar form you will have 5 angle 53.13 degrees so in the next step we will have i phasor equal to 1 angle 0 degrees multiplied to 5 angle 53.13 degrees from here we will have i phasor equal to 5 angle 53.13 degrees and from here it is clear that 5 is i m and this 53.13 degrees is theta i and therefore current i t it will be 5 sine 2 t plus 53.13 degrees and hence option a is the correct option we have sine here and not cosine because parent signal is sine and we have 2t and not t because here we have 2t 
So this is all for this question. Now we will move on to the homework problem. In this homework problem, you are required to find current I and current I C. Once you have your answer, post it in comment section and you will find the link to the solution of this question in the description and in the comment section.